Here we are, South Fork Test Centre. Coming around the corner to find my car on the pavement. An atta staring at something. Stay tuned to the end to see what the result is. Right, so we're going to do a mock test real quick because Atta's actually got his real test coming up in yeah. what 45 minutes something Roughly, around yeah, that yeah. so we're going to have a quick little lap and we're going to show people the bigger roundabouts that's what we we're going to go have a look yeah. at um i may or may not get you to pull over and stop on the left like we've just done three times because we just want to get going show yeah. people the roundabouts yeah, show you the roundabouts we're going to go over all your show me tell me questions and if Atta doesn't know any he's just going to say i don't know and then we'll actually teach that as we go as well all right, so yeah, we're going to start a mock good. test with you and then stay tuned to the end to see the outcome of Atta's real test. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Atta, we're going to go drive into the car park. This is a very important part of your driving test. So take your time. It's a very narrow entrance, so really slow. Stop if you think you need to. Drive on and just on your right where that rubbish bin is, mm -hmm. we've got a driving test centre. You can see the white vehicle passing us now. They're most likely going to go in there. So just follow that vehicle into the driving test centre, please. Excellent, good speed. Well done watching this pole on the left, as well as your gate on the right. And just stop us here, please. Thank you. <laughs> no parking spaces. Right, this guy's going to reverse in here. Yeah. We need to get in that corner over there. Okay. Yay! That's all right. That is going to be a bit weird, but yeah, that's what um, we're going to do. I'm guessing I go around and into it like that. Yeah. Like all right. Okay, Atta, we're going to start your mock test. Uh, the sat nav might be a little bit confusing, so we're going to leave it on, but I'm going to give you directions, then we're going to start following the sat nav. Cool. So just ignore it for now. This might happen on your real test. Your examiner will say something along the same lines. Uh, disregard the sat nav. Don't listen to the sat nav. I'm going to give you directions. When you're ready and it's safe, drive on. So really good, nice observations there. Obviously, people can't actually see that. This is just looking at the route itself, but it has just checked all around the vehicle before moving off. Would you turn left here for me, please? So good mirror checks before your signal. Nice observations here, at a good peep and creep. Good. And because you peeped and creeped, you saw that vehicle, you're moving slow enough to stop, move in. Excellent mirror checks on your change of direction coming around the parked vehicle. Well done checking your left side here to move back in around the oncoming traffic. Very good. Looking for bicycles and motorbikes. Again, nice mirror checks here for your change of direction. Would you turn left, please? Good mirror checks again for your mirror signal. Excellent. And this is the same test, uh, sorry, the road as the test centre. Okay, so we're yeah. just going to drive past it. Hopefully, the sat nav doesn't think we've reached our destination, um, and we can continue to follow the sat nav. It's going to try and I've just seen what it's trying to do. It's trying to drive you into the church on the left. So ignore that. We're going to go all the way to the end of the road. Okay, and then at the end of the road, the sat nav should recalibrate. Hopefully and you'll be given directions to turn After left. 80 yards, turn left, Allenby Road, then, at the end of the road, turn left. We'll turn left, later, then, yeah? at the end of the road, turn left. Good, and we'll get you to go into the car park, yeah? So you'll yeah. drive in there at the end of this video. Turn left. Excellent, good. Nice observations, right, left, right, minimum observations at all junctions. We can look more, but we must at least check the right side twice. Most dangerous side, looking for motorbikes mainly. Excellent, thank you. Hopefully my window wipers don't make the fart noise again like they did last time. 
Very nice speed here, Atta. What's the speed limit? 20. Good. How did you know that? Uh, road markings. Excellent. So you're looking for signs and road markings. Very important, especially at Southall Test Centre. And especially when we get to these big roundabouts. It's all about the road markings and signs, okay? That way you understand what lane to use and where you're going. And a nice bit of blue sky and sun. Where the hell did this rain come from? <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start asking you to show me, tell me questions. We're going to cover all of these um, in an appropriate space and time. So I'll ask them on safe roads, same way that your examiner would. Okay, um, what I'd like you to do is some tell me questions. This is usually at the beginning of your test. You only get one question, but we're going to do all of them. Okay, yes. so what I'd like you to do is tell me what's the road legal tyre requirements, please? Uh, 1.6 millimetres. Very nice. And we mustn't have any damage to the side of the yes. tyre, especially. So no. No damage to the side of the tyre, so no cuts, no uh, abnormalities, no yeah. bumps, anything. Lovely, like yeah, bumps is a good one. The DVSA write down bulges, which is okay. kind of at a. At the end of the road, turn similar. left, B455, right slip the road. Yeah, so as long as you get the message across to the examiner, they can understand that you know what you're talking about. Yeah. You can use whatever words you like, explain it however you want. Well done, thank you, it's a good answer. Excellent mirrors, excellent signal, good timing, roughly five car lengths away from Turn the left. junction. Excellent to adjust your speed there, not only on the approach to the junction, but you've got multiple hazards as in the bicycle and the bus before it. Well done, Atta. Very good. Alert driver. No such thing as a bicycle that comes out of nowhere. First time I've ever said that. Um, because you're looking for it, you're planning for it, yeah? You're yeah. using your speed, what the DVSA say, appropriate. That means you could slowly come to a stop if necessary. Less space, less speed, less sea, less speed. Approaching junctions, roughly jogging to walking speed. Which is After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Kensington Road. Okay, so the lady's giving you nice clear directions there. Did you get those? Yeah. Good, so where are we going to go? Right. Excellent. I'm just asking. Go right to make on the sure roundabout and all. take the third exit. If we don't hear a direction or we're not sure on our exam, we ask the examiner. And if they can, they will help you with the directions. Okay. a textbook roundabout well done we were turning right third exit we've done our routine on the approach to the roundabout which is mirrors first so we checked our interior mirror right mirror because we were signaling right and signals a second so mirrors first signal second you positioned third which was the right lane because you're turning right and then you slow down we talked about that appropriate speed so jogging speed walking speed if we need to stop at the roundabout which you did because there's traffic on the right, it's nice and slow and safe. And then finally we look. So the complete routine is mirrors, signal, position, speed, look. And then you can see it's safe, you went. At what point did you stop signaling right and start signaling left for the exit? After I'd gone past the second mm -hmm. exit Perfect. and I hadn't come to the third exit yet. So people Excellent. knew I wasn't going on the second exit. Perfect yeah. timing on your signal, well done. Uh, well done with your speed limits here. People that may be viewing this video might, might hear that noise, that warning chime. What is that telling us as a driver, Atta? That, that's telling me I've hit 20 miles per hour. Very good. So you've reached the speed limit. So that alerts us not to go too... Too much faster. Yeah, thank you well, for finishing. Any faster, really. Yeah. I wasn't quite sure how to phrase that sentence, yeah. but... After yeah. 200 yards, turn left, Western Avenue. This is a difficult turn to see. It's just before the bridge in between the trees on the left. There is a sign on the right. You might be asked to follow the sign to Oxford, okay? Um, but we're not doing that. Turn we're left. following the sat nav, okay? It's the same direction. Excellent. Nice speed. We talked about this slip road on another video where we did about the big roundabouts. 
we didn't use this slip road, but this is what I was telling yeah. you where you would join on and come towards the target roundabout, one of the biggest, mm -hmm. most busiest roundabouts in London. Okay. We can already see on the sat nav that we're given directions for that roundabout, and we're roughly four, 350 yards now from the junction. When we reach 100 yards, that's a good point to start to check mirrors, signal, position, slow down, and look. I don't need to signal here, do I? It's not necessary. After 200 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, A312, Church Road. Excellent. Really twisting your body to look out the back windows on the right to see the traffic clearly. Well done. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Absolutely amazing lane choice here, Atta. Well done. How did you know to choose this lane and that your left lane would become this lane? I've done it before. You've done it before? You've been shown, yeah? Yeah. Maybe watch the video on YouTube or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Cool. It can be very helpful, and then you can save some time and money being a day at home. Yeah. Nice and safe. No viruses in the household, hopefully. No, no. <laughs> yeah, so that's good. Excellent lane discipline. Following your lane from the center into the center. Amazing mirror checks here at a well done. You know who's around you on both sides because you check both mirrors on the side. Good, interesting lane choice here. Good timing on your signal, well done, because you've passed the second exit, you're taking the third exit, mm. so you've now signaled left to tell people. Well done. And that's what the examiners want to see, that you're signaling to help people understand what you're going to do. Amazing lane discipline. Really Take the exit, A312, Church Road. Fantastic left mirror check here because you most likely have these two lanes merge into one. If not, and they continue, what lane must we use if it's safe? Left. Excellent. How does it look? Any parked vehicles up ahead on that left lane? No. No? Yeah, if you want the vehicle to pass you on the left, cancel the signal. And then they'll oh, most likely gosh. move away from you. Yeah, I'm not too sure. If we're signaling, they might slow down. Excellent, well done. All right. All right, if anyone's enjoying this video, uh, you're my best mate. And please leave a little thumbs up and maybe a comment wishing out her best wishes for his driving test. And uh, that really helps me uh, to get these videos out to as many people as possible. Thank you very much. Right, so we've got signs here showing use both lanes. So we know that we can use it. It used to be a bus lane, but they seem to have erased that markings, made it into regular markings again, which is helpful. Uh, we talked about 100 yards on the sat nav, um, so we're coming up to 250 yards. Maybe when we reach a traffic light, it might be about 100 After 200 yards, yards sharp left, East Coast Lane North. So what are we at? 120 yards? That gives you a good idea because it's a traffic light where we're turning. Sharp left. Yeah, so this might be about... 50, 60 yards, I think that was. That's about five car lengths. You can always signal from that distance, okay. regardless of there being a side road. Okay. If we signal later than five car lengths, it might not be enough time for people to benefit from the signal. Mm -hmm. So that's a good sort of rule to apply if you like. Just always signal five car lengths. You can't go wrong. I like to make things as clear cut as possible. It's too confusing when you're learning to drive and you get so many different pieces of information. Sometimes they're conflicting as well. It can be very frustrating. So yes and no answers are preferable. It can be a bit tricky sometimes because situations change so you'll get different answers. 
the way that the DVSA will answer your question, like what should I have done in that situation, is act on the information. So you look, see, assess, and then decide and act. This is called LADA. This is another routine. We talked about MSPSL. That's the routine for approaching junctions, all junctions. And LADA is the routine you would use while you're driving. So you're on the move, you're looking, you're assessing, making a decision and then actually applying that and acting on that. Okay, so there you go. Um, that's the ins and outs of the working of the DVSA and how they can just sort of get you to think for yourself, which means that you'll learn quicker as well. Yeah. The more you do independently on your driving lessons, the quicker you will learn. So really it is about having knowledge by watching videos, etc. Um, but once you get your hands on the wheel and you're behind the behind the driver's side, then you're off. I know. Well done, Atta, for keeping to the speed limit. Okay, so we've got a 20 road. You're holding your speed and multiple cars are overtaking. Yeah, That's on them. It's That's... kind of intimidating. It's just like whizzing past. Yes. Like almost, but they're completely in the wrong. Yes, they're going over the speed limit, which is against the highway code. So they're liable for points yeah. and fines. So it's their responsibility. Um, but well done. You're being a safe driver holding the, the limit and you know it is what it is there's not much you can do about that talking about speed limits literally when, literally straight after the sign yes good the so okay. I'll share a story um, might have told you before but yeah. for anyone that's viewing I failed a driving test for going 25 miles an hour before the 30 mile an hour change. To 300 yards, yeah. go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Victoria Road. Good, so we must wait until we reach the sign to increase in speed because that's where the new speed limit's enforced from, the sign, not before, obviously, um, why I failed my test. Go left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Excellent observations here, well done. Looking to the right, assessing the speed and the distance of the vehicles, knowing that you had a chance to go there, well done, and you took it, no hesitation. That's a safer way of driving. So there is a part on the test, which is very common, and a lot of people I'm sure that are watching this video know about, it's called undue hesitation. Mm -hmm. It's really for roundabouts only. Yeah. That means that people are missing opportunities um, okay, we're on Victoria Road now. Yeah. And we've been through here before, haven't we? So, would you care to tell the students or people watching this video what happens at the next roundabout with the lanes and the road markings? It splits into two. Yep. And the right lane is the go forward only. Yes. Uh, the left lane is turned left into say, into the shops that are on the left. Perfect, so well done. You stick to the right then. Excellent. So you'll be given directions by your sat nav. But if you're not given directions by your examiner, you follow the road ahead. That's what they'll tell you at the beginning of the test. Follow the road ahead at all times. And the After signs... 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, Victoria Road. Signs, sat navs or road markings tell you otherwise. Nice Cross the roundabout check. and take the second exit. Lovely. Excellent. You're taking the line that I would teach and I'll just explain that to the viewers in a second. You know the right signal we applied? Yeah. Mm, might be confusing. People might think you're going to go all the way round. So if you're going straight, try not to signal. Just go straight. Nice line by going slightly on the circle. This is what I After teach. 200 yards, cross the roundabout the right and take the second the right exit. Lane. Victoria Road. So. Then turn left. left. Right. Correct. Okay. So the signal for the slight change of direction, lane change, but then cancel once it's done. Cross Good. the roundabout and take the second exit. Then turn left. 
excellent line and again we're slightly on the circle and what that's doing is that's giving more space to anyone that might have used the left lane to go straight this area only really for the purpose of the video use the right lane on both of those roundabouts after 200 yards turn left long drive see it's a slight drift good mirror checks to regain your position and you know it's safe well done cancelling the signal confuse otherwise turn left excellent adjustment in your speed appropriate speed nice observations here because you've got a set of giveaway lines uh, two seconds is too long for an observation yeah. so by looking over your shoulder for more than two seconds you might miss the pavement on the left yeah. and once you got your head back and it was nice and straight you saw that yeah. and you counted the steering okay so just a glance a one second glance very effective way you can have many glances and that way you always come back to the road ahead and you don't lose focus of where you're actually traveling so that's why we teach two seconds is too long or we i do i've never heard anyone else say that um so if you hear someone else say that please write down in the comments below <laughs> so i know that other people are now starting to use my method of teaching okay atta although the sat nav's on we're gonna have a look at the next sign. At the end of the road, turn left, A4180, West End Road. We are following the sat nav, but the sign will say Central London. So for anybody that are, is asked to follow the signs of Central London, this is the route. Turn left. Excellent, staying nice and straight, and then only steering left. As the lanes are so narrow there, if we do a counter steer and steer out to the right and then left, which is never really necessary, also quite dangerous, um, we would have probably bumped into the car on, on your side, on your right side. So uh, be very wary people when we're doing right or left turns that we don't counter steer. Keep the car straight until the point where you need to steer where you're going only. Okay, we're now going to follow signs to Heathrow. So this is an independent drive following signs to Heathrow. But like I said earlier, we are using the sat-nav. It's exactly the same. Right, Atta, would you be able to tell me how would you check to see that your brake lights are working? Uh, I'd use someone's help or I would use reflections in car window, car Lovely. or shop windows. Thank you very much. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A4180. B455 towards South Hall. Cross the roundabout and Good take the checks. second exit. You can use this lane to go straight, that's fine, so don't panic. Excellent observations, looking at the wheels on those vehicles and know exactly what direction they're traveling. And then you made that decision to take go. Take the exit, West End Road. Fantastic fast on the exit you need to increase in speed can now I, can i use this lane yes you can you need to increase in speed though use the lane but increase in speed and then that way like this green van here yeah. uh, you won't have people undertake you so you're the leader mm -hmm. get the gas going okay. fast on the exit i had a huge challenge mm -hmm. of trying to overcome that fear yeah. of going fast on the exit yeah one instructor I had, and I had multiple instructors, so I feel the pain of everybody else and all those stories that are on the Instagram page. That two day pass, plug. Um, yeah, then you don't get good advice and people shout at you and all that, but this one guy said to me, go faster, you're not going fast enough on the exit. And I crapped myself. I didn't yeah. want to go faster, but I started to do it. I saw that it worked, and I continued after that, so I knew it was a, it was a good bit of sound information. So, yep, um, you'll stay in front, you can change lanes, you're the leader, you'll increase distance from cars behind you. These are all the reasons why it's safer. Is there, is there like, is the speed limit on a roundabout, is it, is it like important? Uh, no, so, you do a speed that you feel is safe. So you might have some roundabouts that say 40, 50 miles an hour. Never do that type of, course, of speed yeah, around the roundabout. But um, if it's like a 20 road and you need to speed up to get out of the roundabout, you, 
you allowed to go? Over? Never allowed to go over the speed limit. Okay. So speed up to the speed limit. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the third exit, A312, the parkway. And this is also signs to Heathrow. And the lady just said A312. Okay. It will be A312S for south. And that's signs to Heathrow. Very confusing, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, S for south. Nice mirrors, nice signal, good name change. There's our friend, the green Cross van. the roundabout and take the third exit. Lovely lane choice again. So the ladies told us third exit. However, pronouncement TH is third exit. However, we are on a multi-lane roundabout. So normally we can use the middle lane to turn right. Also, we've got road marking saying A3 uh, A312S. Uh, south, which is where we're going. Mm -hmm. So we know we've chose the right lane because we've actually got the road markings in here. So we know where we're going. We said this at the beginning of the video. It's all about road markings and lane markings. Talking about lane markings, you see these white lines? Yep. Dot, dot, dot. That's where your lane goes. So we keep to those and that guides you through your lane into the roundabout, into the lane, which says A312S. Perfect lane discipline. Good mirror check at the first exit as you pass it. It's always a good habit to have. Excellent. Really staying in your lane, following Take the, the exit, well A312, the parkway. Really nice. Well done with the traffic lights, seeing that change. Perfect timing as you pass the second exit for your mirrors and signals to show people you're exiting. The textbook roundabout again, well done, Atta. Really good job. We're going to be approaching the Willow Tree Roundabout. I'm going to ask you a show me question. Uh, when it's safe, I'd like to show me how you beep your horn. Lovely, thank you very much. Atta, would you be able to tell me about your headrest? How would you like to have it adjusted so it's in a safe position? Uh, the middle of the headrest has to be in line with the, my eyes. Good, so the middle of the headrest in line with your eyes. That's exactly what you just said. Well done, perfect answer. A bit like a pillow. You know, yeah. we have it there to support our head. In a second, I might start to give you directions. Now, although we're going to be turning left on the roundabout nice and easy, and we'll see these countdown markers so we know exactly how far After away 300 we are. yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, then Coke Road, then sharp left. And the lady told us then sharp left. So it's left on the roundabout, then sharp left. And if you have a look at the sat nav, it's like a U turn. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, so okay. that's how sharp it is. It's like a U-turn. Yeah, gives you a good idea. And the distance between the exit on, the roundabout, on the roundabout and the I'll take the turn, first exit, then sharp left. Lengths. So be ready shortly after. Boom, boom. Uh, tell me, where would you find the correct tire pressure for the vehicle and how would you check the tire pressure? Uh, drivers car door or in the vehicle handbook good um, and just go to the petrol station and use a pressure gauge perfect thank you very much so i'm just going to reiterate exactly what atta said so you might have a sticker in the car door it's quite common or just use the manual for the vehicle that will have the information then go to a petrol station you have a pump with a pressure gauge to check the pressure Very busy roundabout this one. And the secret to a busy roundabout and going is having that acceleration to really get going once you've made Sharp that decision. Sharp left, Glencoe Road. So I really would encourage people to go automatic. Um, otherwise you'll be doing about 40 hours practicing clutch control and really launch control to get going at the roundabout. and. And pass your driving test. So if you want to spend 40 hours mastering the clutch, go for it. If you've got time and money, brilliant. Go, yeah, build your skills. Excellent. The way the world's going, we're going electric, we're going automatic. Is it really something that you want or need is more important? Manual, if you need it, go for it. If you don't need it, I would really encourage people to go automatic. It's a much more pleasurable way of driving, more relaxed, gives you more time to focus on the road ahead. And you know what? We're 21st century, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so do we really want to go backwards in technology or forwards in technology? Um, Forward, definitely. Yeah, I, I would think so. But, um, you know, each to their own. 
Okay, uh, I'd like you to tell me, how would you test to see if your foot brakes are working? Uh, it should be nice and firm. Good, well done. I'm going to do the opposite answer, different question. How would you test to see that your power steering is working? Uh, nice After and 200 Excellent. yards, go left on the roundabout and take the first exit, Broadmead Road. Excellent mirrors and signals, mirror first, signal Go second. left on the roundabout and take the first exit. Perfect observations due to your approaching speed and that is the secret to all roundabouts. So if anybody that is still watching, please, if this is giving you value, leave a thumbs up. And remember, when you approach a roundabout, do it slowly. If you do, you will complete the roundabout with ease. When people approach roundabouts too quickly, everything goes wrong and people begin to get frustrated and learning ceases yeah so you must approach around about slowly maybe 10 miles an hour yeah from about five car lengths back once you start to master that you'll get more confidence you'll start to do roundabouts quicker naturally but we must start by doing them slowly so that we can take it in see what's happening and learn from that experience okay Atta, would you be able to tell me how would you check to see that your headlights and taillights are working? Uh, using someone's help. Yep, good, similar or to the just brake. By, just by turning one check and getting out and checking. Excellent. I'm glad you told me At turning the end of the road, well done. turn right, B455, right slip the road. So you do want to kind of make a point of saying I will turn the lights on and go and check so that the examiner knows that you know to turn them on. It seems silly, but it's a good way of answering that question. I like that you chose this lane, actually. Uh, so there's two lanes turning right. Um, normally, we're encouraged to always use the left lane. However, no one was in the right lane, so you're going to make better progress. So you're overtaking, essentially. Turn right, B455, right slip the road. Nice checking your side mirrors, probably even all your mirrors as you went through the junction. You can see who's on your side. Excellent side mirror to the left, well done, so you can see if there's merging traffic because the two lanes became one. Really good lane discipline as you went through that junction turning right, you maintained your lane. Excellent. Good awareness here, well done with your lights. Excellent notes in the road markings. You had those diagonal arrows After coming 200 in. yards, you go right on the roundabout and take the third exit, Lady Margaret Road. Go right on the roundabout and take the third exit. Lovely approaching speed. Really nice, 10 miles an hour. There's your new car, Atta. <laughs> Bright pink. Mm. Good. If you hear your sat now say turn right, or you examine the turn right, mm. you must signal right. Okay. Good. Excellent mirrors, excellent timing on your signal for your left signal. Well done. I'd see the zebra crossing because of the sunlight yep. and the actual surface of water. It's like a mirror edge. Mm -hmm. and you might see poles on the side. Can you see those poles? Yeah. Those are helpful. Yep. And we've got the beacons on top. So After 200 yards, turn left, hillside road, then turn right. It can beep your horn if you like, so it helps them to see you or hear you. Turn left, then turn right. Good mirrors, good signal, good timing on your signal. Speed here is important. You can see how narrow the entry is. Well done. So you saw that line then, didn't you? Slow down a bit more and stayed in your lane. See how easy it would be to run wide on this turn. If you're doing it in a manual car, which I used to teach for about eight years, everybody runs wide because they're trying to control the gear and the clutch and turn. Mm -hmm. and. Oh, it's a nightmare. And then they After go into oncoming yards, traffic. 
Turn right, Westbury Avenue. <clears throat> Turn right. Time for a coffee atta? Uh, no, I'm okay. Need to look at the sat no more. Okay, let's run through some more questions. Uh, would you be able to show me, when it's safe to do so, how you wash the front window? Mm -hmm. Lovely, thank you. And uh, nobody's going to see this, but when it's safe, I'd like to show me how you wash the rear window. Lovely. You might be able to hear that, guys. All right. Now, Atta, when it's safe, I'd like to show me how you demist the front window, please. This is where it get loud. Thank you. Brilliant. And then when it's safe, I'd like to show me how you demist the rear window. Thank you very much. Excellent. Okay. So... Um, your examiners ask you to pull up on the left. I'd like to pull up on the left here in the safe place. Um, if you could edge forwards to where the tree starts for me. Don't worry about the driveway. And just keep going till you're close to the tree. This is lovely stuff. Okay. After 200 yards, turn left, Sunnycroft Road. Then you have reached your destination. So we're almost back at the test centre. Mm -hmm. Two things here. One, your examiner will ask you to do this at some point on your test. This is called an angled start. Nothing that will be explained to you about this, so mm -hmm. I'm just explaining it to you. Um, boring, but this is why they're asked, or you're asked to do this. See, there's roughly about a car length from the vehicle in front? Yep. So when your examiner asks you to pull over and stop on the left, don't worry about driveways, don't worry about yellow lines, leave a car length from that vehicle in front. Mm -hmm. This is why. They want to see how you're going to move away afterwards. Okay. Cool. So what I'd like to do, when it's safe, drive on. Excellent, thank you. Really nice all round observations, nice signal there, with or without anybody that would see it. Because you never know, someone might come out of a side road, driveway, pull away from being a parked vehicle, they see your signal, they might actually hold After back. 80 yards, turn left, then you have reached your destination. Okay, we're going to finish off your questions at us. So, would you be able to tell me how would you know there's a problem with the ABS? Uh, the light would come on on my dash. Excellent, thank you very much. It's quite a narrow road, this one. This is the test centre road. After 90 yards, you have reached your destination. Okay, Atta, what I'd like to do uh, is go a bit you further have down the your road. Destination. Mm -hmm. Uh, road. Just after these parked vehicles, pull up somewhere on the left, please. Very good mirrors, very good signal. Thank you very much. And just secure the car. Switch the engine off. So this is what's asked from you at the end of your test. Mm -hmm. Examiner say, when it's safe, I'd like you just to switch the engine off, secure the car. Um, that's the end of your test. Congratulations, you've passed. There's no major faults there. Well done. Um, we're going to go and do the rest of your show me, tell me questions. I'm going to get you to open the bonnet now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just going to see if there was anything we left out. Do you remember the indicator lights? I didn't ask you this. How mm -hmm. would you check to see that your indicator lights are working? Um, you can ask someone to help or you can turn okay. them on and get out and check. Yeah, good. Well done. And we're going to go open the bonnet now. Okay. Yeah. All right. I had to open the bonnet down yeah. here above mm -hmm. the accelerate pedal. There's a lever. Pull it down. Excellent. Yeah. That's it. Now we're going to come outside the vehicle and we're going to open the bonnet. At okay. the next lever, if you look through that gap there, you'll see in here, yeah. it's a bit hard to see, it's what's your back, yeah. there is a yellow lever. Can you see it? It's very small. It's just above no. the Mercedes badge. Uh, Move the plastic Oh yeah, down. yeah, yeah. You got it? Move it to the left and then raise the bonnet up all the way okay. and it will self-support. 
so no need to put the rod into yeah. the actual bonnet. Now we've got four liquids. These are the only liquids that you'll need to know about your car, um, and they are the brake fluids, engine coolant, engine uh, sorry, engine oil, sorry, and windscreen wiper fluids. So would you be able to show me where's your brake fluids, please? I'll give you a clue. It's got the same shape as a stop sign. So if you have a look at the containers, one of them's got an octagon, which is the same shape as a stop sign. Yeah, you're there. Is there an octagon? There it is. Now, if you look on the side of the container, don't bother, but there's minimum and maximum markings. So the question is, where is your engine, sorry, where is your brake fluids? Good, and how do you know if you have enough? It's it's above the minimum. Lovely, okay. That's the one, minimum, maximum. Over here we have the engine coolant, it's usually the biggest container, so we've got stop sign for brake fluids, we've got big container for engine coolant, yeah. same answer, it's the minimum maximum markings. Engine oil goes in here, we don't have a dipstick, mm -hmm. but if you had, how would you check your engine oil levels? Open this, yep. wipe the stick clean, Good. dip it in, yep. and see if it's below the Perfect. Well done. and between the minimum. Now the one that doesn't have minimum maximum markings is the windscreen wiper fluids. Usually you can try and see if there's liquid, but if you can't, wash your windscreens and then you'll know if you have liquid. Yeah. And that is it. All right, let's go do your driving test. Woohoo! If you want, you can take the mask off. Yeah, yeah. I've got that. I had to drive the whole time with the windows open. Yeah. It's one of the things now, yeah. the COVID. Right. Okay. Nice. So, we're back here with Atta and it's crunch time now. <laughs> so, can you can you tell us the news, Atta? Pass. Woohoo! <laughs> nice. Well done. Excellent job. <laughs> we'll fist bump that one. All yeah. right. So, um, what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to sort of drive us back, but I'm going to ask you a few questions about your driving test. Yeah, sure. So, um, I watched you leave the car park, Yeah. which was quite difficult because it was very busy. So, um, congratulations on just getting out of the car park. That's really difficult. And you made that look easy and you went this way. Yeah. So, uh, did you use the sat nav? No. No sat nav. No sat nav. Road so you signs. followed the signs. Yeah. How did you find that? Completely fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was that was fine with the whole way through. Okay, no, good. No worries with that. Do you remember what signs you followed? Just to Rice Lip and then to Heathrow. Ah, so you did the route that we yeah. practiced that yeah. Heathrow one coming back. And uh, we did the took a the roundabout exit to Harrow <coughs> and then but. To oh, Heath, okay. and then to Heathrow. So yeah. it's like oh, so you yeah, did the big there roundabout was, going Harrow. Yeah. And then you came down and followed to Heathrow. Yeah. Ooh. Um, Good thing we practiced that yeah, roundabout yeah. then. There's one. There was one <coughs> time in the roundabout where I was I was in far right lane, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, it's a bit too far out. And then I was trying to go merge onto the left, like normal left lane, because mm -hmm. uh, we were taking the fourth exit. Oh wow, difficult. Yeah. Very difficult. And then um, uh, I managed to do that, but I was a little bit, little bit hesitant. Mm -hmm. At the same time that was happening, a police car was like had their sirens on coming behind me. Wow! So I was a bit like, oh no, um, but it was fine. I managed to get do it. So he's the man. <laughs> so congrats. Uh, what manoeuvre did you get? Um, uh, forward park into a bay. Okay, lovely. Uh, I went in, and mm -hmm. then it was slightly off, so I did a direction. Yep. Good. And a nice one. Because um, we covered that, and you know that you're allowed to do that. Yeah. Just Make sure observe, which clearly you did to test standard. And finally, your show me, tell me questions. You're right with those ones? Uh, yeah, you sure. Yeah. It was the show me how to do, do the window. Oh, you did the window yeah, one? Okay. Back down and up. That mm -hmm. was probably um, that's as easy as it gets. Mm -hmm. um, and then it was tell me how you would indicate, how you would check your indicates are working. Lovely jubbly. All right. Well, um, I think that pretty much summarizes your driving test. And overall, how did you find the, the lessons and the whole driving test? It was test actually experience? okay. It went by so quickly. Mm, yeah, it, does, it was fine. Uh, stick, in, stick to the speed limit the whole way as well, mm -hmm. which was difficult. I had a queue of cars behind me, but you know, not, you my, not my, not my, yeah. not your fault. No, it's 20 mile an hour limit. You must do 20. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, congrats. And um, yeah. 
Pass plus maybe, we'll see where that one goes. Yep. And uh, stay safe, stay tuned. See you later guys, bye.